and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. Today we're doing the Sophie and Toffee Pixie unboxing for December of 2022. Um, this box literally just arrived at my front door like 10 minutes ago so I thought I would do this unboxing for you quickly so that I have it done and finished and everything is good. Um, so I got this box on Tuesday. This video is going live on Thursday. So very short kind of turnaround for the video, which is good for unboxings. It means that you get like the most, you get to see it as quick as I possibly can make it for you. Um, yeah, so what is Sophie and Toffee? Sophie and Toffee is a resin company located in um, Singapore. And they do a couple of different subscription boxes. They do their elves box, which is a bit more expensive than the pixie box, but you do get resin inside of it. What the elves box is, it's an entire project. Uh, like I said, resin included with molds and things like that, um, that you get on a monthly plan. Then you have the pixie box. And what the pixie box is, it's a bunch of items centered on a specific theme. Um, each theme changes by month. Um, you always get some molds, some inclusions and things like that. Um, everything but the resin. And they also don't have like specific designated projects. They kind of have like ideas that you can, or they give you a bunch of stuff that lets your own creativity make something out of. I chose the Pixie Box because it was a little bit cheaper and I'm brand new to resin. I've only been doing it for, well, since last February. So um, I thought that getting a whole bunch of different things would help me kind of figure out what to do and what not to do. Sometimes you get like specific themes or specific items to make. Like I think August's box was a Ferris wheel. And if you've been on my channel any amount of time, you will have seen that I've made two of those already because I love them so, so much. Um, then they also have other boxes. Like I think they have like a Disney kind of box that they are working on and... A couple of other subscription boxes. They have like a Harry Potter theme. Um, and off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else, but on their website, it's all broken down for you. Um, you can get these this specific box uh, and the Elves box, I believe, for either a monthly installments. Um, you can buy three months in advance or six months. I did the six months option because I really wanted to give Sophie and Toffee a chance. And yeah, so that's all I needed to say as an introduction. Let's take a look inside of this box. And then I have some um, housekeeping stuff to discuss at the end of the video too. So like I said, I just got it in the mail. Um, I haven't opened it. I haven't looked to see what's inside. So this is um, new to both of us. Uh, love is in the air. I completely forgot what this theme is and I have no idea what the spoilers are. So, love in the air. This is the card that you get. You always get 20 items. And I keep this card next to me so that I can refer back when I don't know what something is. So we have pink paper instead of yellow. And there we go. What I have also noticed with Sophie and Toffee is that um, because this is like for crafters and things like that, they tend to send out themes early enough so that you could get your stuff done for that season. So for like Halloween, they send out their Halloween styled box in September. For Christmas or holidays, they sent that box out in November. And this feels very much like a Valentine's Day kind of box, which they sent out in December. So um, it looks like all of our molds are on the top. Um, we have I have a filming light here and it's right in the way of the box. Oh, let's try that. Um, okay, so first we have this flying envelope mold. He's cute and quite little. I'm not going to take any of these molds out of the packaging, I don't think, just because um, I'm not going to get to do this until 
um, January, and I don't want to get cat hair or anything all over them. We have a bunch of kisses, like lips. Kisses mold. We have this really cute love mold that looks like it could probably stand on its own. Mm, we have a lot of molds. We have this heart shaker mold. Um, and then we have this tall heart frame mold. Oh, you get a lot of them. 12. That's cool. Well, that's really pretty. We have a bunch of assorted dry flowers. That's really, really pretty. Um, then we have Morandi pigment dye. So this is like a color. So they're calling this maroon, but it looks way too light to be maroon. I think it looks kind of like um like a beige nude kind of color. Do I have any in maroon? No, I don't really have anything maroon here to show you, but to me that's not a maroon. That's like a beige nude shade. Then we have two alcohol inks in magenta and violet. I'm gonna leave these in here just because they can um sometimes dyes and in ink dyes, inks, glitter and stuff like that get all over the place. But we have this really cool magenta, so like a bright pink and violet. We have holographic glitter. It says in random colors. Uh, it looks like I have like a purpley white kind of one. Um, three more kind of glitters. So two translucent shredder foils in pink and blue and a heart shaped pastel color confetti. Um, if it's hard to see in the packaging, I'll pop up photos of these all for you, too. Oh, we have another mold. This is our big mold. Uh, this is heart vase mold and vase test tube. That's cool. Probably put those flowers into here. More glitter, rainbow crush, oh, stones. Yeah, I'm going to insert photos of everything so you get a better idea. Bevels, heart-shaped open bezels. Half pearl beads. These are all kind of in like a soft pink shade. Those are really pretty. And they're all in different sizes, which is really cool. Um, these also look like they're in pinks. Flowery confetti. They look like they're kind of like a rose goldy pinky shade. And then we have more uh, heart-shaped polymer clay. They've been putting a lot of polymer clay into these boxes lately, which is kind of cool. I have no idea how to really use these, but um, kind of neat that I have them. And yeah, that looks like it's it. So in molds, we have this flower vase mold. We have the, or heart flower vase mold thing. We have these heart frame molds. We have love. 
We have a heart shaker mold. We have these little lips or kisses. And we have this flying envelope mold. And I think that's it for molds. Then we have the flowery confetti. We have the polymer clay. Let's spread these out. Um, half bead or half pearl beads. We have this holographic cotton glitter, these rainbow crush stones, this pink and blue translucent shredder foil, and heart shaped confetti. Uh, these two alcohol inks, this pigment dye, these open bezels, and then these dried flowers. So that's what you get for this month's Love in the Air themed box. It'd be cool to see what this heart vase mold and vase tube look like together. I've seen other kinds of um, resin channels, resin people make stuff like that, especially on Instagram. They're quite popular. So yeah, that's cool. And I also kind of want to see what this heart frame mold looks like when it's out and about. Um, I, I have no interest in that kisses mold. The flying envelope mold could be cute. It's like I could see putting some um, um, rings into it. I can't think of the word right now, but um, hooks maybe to like turn it into like a pendant or something. That would be kind of cool, I think. Um, the love is sign is really cute too. It's like a nice cute little table topper kind of size. So yeah, um, I'm always excited for glitters and things like that. More alcohol inks and dyes are always fun. Um, yeah, so that's this box. What did you think of this box? Did you get this box? Have you gotten this box yet? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, housekeeping. Specific to Sophie and Toffee. Um, and this box. I like to try to do resin review videos every month. I have not, ha I have not since been getting these boxes done a resin review video every month. But I, I wanted to try really hard. And I'd really hoped to do a review video this month. But that's just not going to happen. I just don't have the time. Um, this box arrived so late, um, which I will discuss in my, uh, Sophie and Toffee review video next week. But, um, if, if I had one pet peeve about Sophie and Toffee, it's how all over the place their shipping is. Um, but I'll get into that, like I said, next week. That's not what this video is for. But with that being said... Um, I had hoped this box would have come in last week and I would have had time on the weekend to make the projects, but I now no longer have the time, um, to put the, or to be, uh, try to be quick about it. Um, I still have three and a half sections of my peanuts, the cross stitch to complete this week. I have a couple of sewing projects I need to complete this week and I have a couple more voiceover video um, review style videos to also film this week. I'm not doing any filming when I'm in Canada um, just because my setup like I don't want to bring a setup for there and I don't want to like pull away from time with my family to do filming. So I'm trying to pre-film all of that this week. I have um, each one of those cross stitch videos takes 10 to 14 hours to film um, my review videos don't take that long, but it's still like more editing for those and all of that. So I just, I do not have time to clean up all of my sewing mess that's on my dining room table right now to do a resin video. And for that, I'm sorry. So for you to check back, this theme will be discussed hopefully in January. Um... Just because, like I said, I, there's just no time this month to finish it. If I were home next week, 
probably, but like I said, I leave for Canada on Monday. And so there's just, there's just not enough time left. Um, so yeah, um, subscribe maybe if you want to see what this stuff turns out like in January. Uh, uh, let me know again if you like the theming and the styling and um, if you're a big like Valentine's heart kisses kind of person I'll be honest I'm not but um, I am excited for some of these projects to see what they will turn out like and I'm gonna go because this is video three of four that I'm filming today on top of having to complete part of that cross stitch that I was talking about so I'll say thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.